Hello viewers, today we are going to test and waste water sample for total coliform count. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. Be with us, be a laboratory expert. To carry out the test, we need to follow some steps such as culture media and diluent preparation, sample preparation, inoculation, incubation, result observation, result confirmation, and result interpretation. For coliform count, we need some apparatus and equipment such as a balance machine, water bath, biological safety cabinet, incubator, colony counter, vortex mixture, autoclave, micro pipette, sterile petri dish, pipette tips, spatula, durham tube. We also need culture media such as violet red bile agar and brilliant green bile brut. Let's start the analysis. For the preparation of violet red by lactose agar, dissolve 38.5 grams of VRBL agar media into 100 ml distilled water. Boil and stir the solution for 2 minutes. Keep the media in water bath at 48 degrees Celsius until use it in the test. We can prepare brilliant green bile broth by dissolving 40.01 grams dehydrated media into 1000 ml distilled water. Distribute 10 ml from the medium into screw capped glass test tubes. Place Durham tube into each of the test tubes and autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds for 15 minutes. Pepton salt solution can be prepared by suspending 1 gram enzymatic digest of casein into 1000 ml distilled water and adding 8.5 grams of sodium chloride into it. Distribute into falcon tube and autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds for 15 minutes. For details about media preparation, take a look at our video for culture media preparation. Video link is given in the description section. Now we will prepare our sample. Start working on a clean workstation. First, label sterile petri dish with media, sample, dilution, trial, etc. We will test each dilution in duplicates, we call trial 1 and trial 2. Sample should be taken out from the storage condition and thawed at room temperature for 40 minutes. We will spray 70% IPA to remove contaminants from the sample container surface. Now we will bring the sample inside biosafety cabinet. We should mix the sample properly before taking sample for the test. We are transferring 1 ml sample into 9 ml diluent to dilute the sample 10 times. You can make further dilution if you think that your sample contains higher load of coliform bacteria. Sample is ready for inoculation. Pipette 1 ml of original sample and pour in the middle of a petri dish of trial 1. Pipette another ml of original sample and pour in the middle of another petri dish of trial 2. Discard the tape from the micro pipette.
mix the dilution tube and transfer 1 ml in the trial 1 dish and another ml in the trial 2 dish. Let's bring the prepared VRBL agar media from the water bath which was maintained at 48 degrees Celsius. Rotate the media flask gently to mix the media ingredients properly. Now pour about 15 ml of VRBL agar media in both of the petri dishes containing diluted sample. Media temperature should not be higher than 48 degrees Celsius. Close the lids immediately and rotate the dishes clockwise and anticlockwise up and down to mix the media with sample properly. In the same way, pour the VRBL agar media in the both plate containing original sample and rotate them as done for previously. Wait for 10 minutes allowing each of the inoculated dishes to become solidified. Now add an overlay of VRBL agar on each of the solid surface by pouring about 4 ml of the media. For details about portlet technique, take a look at our video. Link is given in the description section. After solidifying, invert the inoculated plate and incubate them at 35 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After incubation, observe the plates under colony counter. We will consider the count ranging from 10 to 150 CFU. You can see huge number of colonies on original sample dishes, that's why we will not consider these plates. On the other hand, dilution plates contains colonies in the range of 10 to 150 C of U. Let's count the colonies.
We found 27 colonies in trial 1 dilution plate. We also found 26 colonies in trial 2 dilution plate. Now, it's time to confirm these colonies as coliform bacteria. We will conduct the gas production test for few colonies chosen randomly from the plates. Burn an inoculating loop and cool it. Label a BGLB broth medium with colony number. Pick a colony from a plate and inoculate the media. Turn the loop again and pick another colony to inoculate another media. In this way, continue inoculating every media, choosing colonies randomly from the plates. Protect the media carefully to avoid bubble formation. Lose the cap and finally incubate the media at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After incubation, observe the tubes for gas formation by the bacteria. You can see bubbles of gas inside the Durham tubes. So the bacteria are confirmed as coliform. Now we have to calculate the total coliform count of our sample. We found 27 colonies in trial 1 and 26 colonies in trial 2. In average, the count is 26.5. We diluted our sample 10 times. That's why dilution factor is 10. Let's put the values in the formula given in the left side. So, total coliform count of our sample is 265 CFU per ml.